still, a bit hard to believe the old Emperor was planning to eat us all. Guess we all owe you for that one, huh? Greetings. Hi guys! Welcome back to Star Wars The Old Republic and to one more day in the life of Sion. Or welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Vivi and let's just get to the next part of the story. I knew that the Alliance would flourish on Odessan, but I didn't expect this place to feel so much like home. You should be proud of what you've built here, and the allies you've gained. You didn't like the outfit I gave you? You're pretty, no matter what, so... Um, what did you say? Our allies? Sure. I couldn't have done it without you. Someone had to do all the hard work while you were off gallivanting. The Alliance is still a formidable power, but we're not strong enough to face the Republic or the Empire. Unfortunately, a confrontation is inevitable. It always is. There are skirmishes in wild space, riots on Quesh. Galactic war is imminent. We can no longer afford neutrality. This again? If the Alliance is to survive, we must align ourselves with the Republic or the Empire. Whatever you decide, we'll follow your lead. I don't think it went very well going back to the Empire last time, fighting their cause. And I would love to stay independent. To be quite honest with you, I feel like it would be easier to stay independent with the Republic. I'm just afraid we'll drive people away. Good people. Either way, we'll alienate half of the Alliance. Unlikely. You're not the only one who benefits from a network of brilliant tacticians, experienced force users, and underworld contacts. So who do you wish to support? The Republic or the Empire? I have a saying. If you haven't tried anything new today, you haven't tried anything. Uh, just made that up, but, you know. The Republic has won me over. Of course. And as a former hero of the Empire, you could easily sabotage them from the inside. It's unlikely you'll fight the Empire openly, but are you comfortable with betraying your former allies? Or killing them? I'll support you either way, so please consider carefully. Let me see. How many allies do I have that still considered an Imperial? Oh, I know. Zero. The Empire is my past, but the Republic is my future. Of course. Republic SIS has been trying to recruit you for ages, but I kept turning them down. Did I'll they I'll contact know? them shortly. They'll be in touch soon. I guess Theron had a say in that, or...? It really is lovely out here. Mm -hmm. It's been ages since I've watched a sunset. It's been ages since we... But we should get back. I've received over a dozen holocalls since we left. They can wait. I suppose I could stay out a little longer. Mm -hmm. Oh, I forgot to tell Baywan about the delayed fuel shipment. Lana. <laughs> right. Yes. Sunset now. Work later. Let's just call it a sunset. Speak to my Republic contacts. Where? Wait, I've got HK with me. I had to change his um, appearance because, I mean, in this outfit, he still looks like he's in 720p. Okay, never mind. We're launching the next part of the quest. You look like no one's been polishing this in a long time but a shiny droid is a droid that's not been working you'd love the Corellian sector 
best Starshine surprise on Nar Shada. First round is on me. You finally made it. Not again. Could you bring me another K3? Wait, make that two. Well, if it isn't my traitor friend, welcome to the party. Your new best friend. Keep your voice down. Relax, you're among friends. Half the patrons are SIS. Huh. Jonas Balker, Republic SIS. Can't blame you for abandoning the imps, but it was a bit of a surprise. Why? If it were up to me, we'd welcome you with open arms. Unfortunately, you'll have to keep up appearances and support the Empire. So by keeping up appearances, I'm gonna have to kill both Republic and Empire? Hey, you're telling me I get to play a double agent? Interesting. Put up the pretense so they won't even see me coming. Exactly. You've built up more contacts in the Empire than a dozen of our best field agents. With war on the horizon, the imps are desperate for medical supplies, fuel, and raw resources. We just have to beat them to it. While you're at it, be sure to make some disparaging remarks about the Empire. With a face like yours, the imps will be drinking in every word. You need to work on your pickup lines. They're bad. If he keeps this up, I know who my first casualty is gonna be. Seize resources and lower morale. Simple enough. Sharp as a tack, and stylish too. You know the way to a man's heart. Tensions are rising on the planet Osis. With the help of your alliance, the Republic could gain the upper hand. We're still working out the details, so I'll be in touch once you're back on Odessin. This meeting will be our little secret. K3, you're right on time. That one's all yours. My friend was just leaving. See you around, Commander. Yeah, I don't like him. She can take a hint. <laughs> Greetings, Commander. It has been far too long. Oh, Moth Pyron, is that you? Last I heard, you had disappeared into the Outer Rim. Indeed. I'm afraid that in your absence, I was assigned to employ the Silencer fleet in a secret operation on behalf of Empress Asina herself. Didn't we speak to him on Rishi? It's been so many years, I'm not even sure. Wait, this water below my feet? I never noticed. Sorry, I'm a bit distracted today. So, let's see, what was he talking about? Empress Asina? I do feel a bit bad for Asina, though. She was the only one, the Imperial side, that I kind of liked. Secret operation, you say? Care to share? Sounds intriguing. Why don't you tell me about it? I hope to do so. Perhaps very soon. A situation has arisen, and I believe it presents an opportunity to strengthen the bond between the Empire and your alliance. A small Imperial strike team is currently engaged in a covert operation on the ancient Jedi world of Osus. Osus? I am hoping that you can provide them with some assistance. What kind of assistance? The operation is being overseen by a younger member of the Dark Council. Darth Malora, Head of Scientific Advancement. Oh, that's a While Malora possesses a brilliant mind, not unlike Empress Asina, she has little of Asina's patience for the subtleties of military operations. Malora's objective was meant to be completed by now. Pressed to deliver results, she will likely hurl troops at the problem without regard for strategy. My finest infantry soldiers, Raven Squad, are participating in the operation. It would be a great loss to the Empire if their lives were wasted. So, I think I know Malora. Tell me about her. 
I'm not sure I've heard of Melora before. Is there anything else you can tell me about her? She takes her work very seriously and has little interest in outside opinions. As a member of the Dark Council, Melora is beyond my influence. It's no help at all. But someone like yourself, an outsider whose allegiance is greatly valued, you could accomplish much that I cannot. I can investigate the situation. What is the strike team's mission on Osus? The Jedi have established a secret colony on the planet. We believe they're using it to train and ready themselves for war. The Jedi's numbers are already low. If this training compound can be destroyed, we will be at an inarguable advantage when full-scale hostilities begin. And you say Melora can't handle the job? This seems straightforward enough. Why are you so sure Darth Melora will fail? I do not believe she will fail. Her power is not in question. I only fear the cost of that victory. I will forward all of my available data on Melora and the operation. Your assistance will no doubt ensure the mission's success. I am certain that Empress Asina will be most appreciative. Thank you for your time, Commander. I shall look forward to word of your triumph. Glory to the Empire. We'll see about that, Moff. <laughs> I would recommend that you travel to Osus alone. We wouldn't want Malora or her troops to see this as a show of force. Or confuse her with unexpected allies. Translation? Definitely don't take the former Republic spy, or anyone else they might be inclined to shoot on sight. It is important to make a good first impression. Great. We're back on the haircut. <laughs> Surely you could come with me, Lana. I would love nothing more. But I'm not especially popular with my fellow Sith. I don't know Melora, but I'd rather not chance it. You're popular with the right Sith, my dear. I'll see that a shuttle is prepared for you. May the Force serve you well, Commander. It's so funny how she has to go back to calling me Commander every time we're done with the kissing. We're going to a shiny new planet. Can't wait. There's a bit of a plot hole, I feel. Who would be scared or confused about HK-51 or... Any other droid companion, well, maybe T7, but you know what I mean. I have quite a few Imperial candidates, don't I? Even Quinn. No sudden moves, if you please. I'm here to help. That a fact? At the request of Moff Pyron. Well, that's a different story. You do look familiar, somehow. We worked together before. Nope. Ugh, this ruckus is intolerable. I'm trying to concentrate. What is the meaning of all this? You! Me? I should have known some glory hound like you would slither their way into my grandest achievement. Just what business does the Alliance have here, Commander? Wait a second. That voice. <laughs> Although, Joe Wyatt has been used in quite a few Imperial roles. I have a theory that she could be one of the NPCs back on... Corriban? And if so, they've changed her up quite a bit because no one, and I mean no one, looked like her. <laughs> but sh something's happened to her. And that hairdo is an old one that's been in the game from the start. I'm actually gonna look it up. Yep. 
and without getting spoilers I have no idea if we'll, we will ever get to know what happened to her but but yes I met her back on Corriban I'll see if I can find a little snippet of what I did for her or did I do that for her I'd heard we were evaluating alien competency to be Sith. My most perfect specimen, a Tukata mutant, escaped to the tombs before I could analyze it. My apprentice, Malora, saw which tomb the mutant beast fled into. Find out what she knows, assist me, and you will be rewarded. Seeking Lord Renning's lost pet, are you? <laughs> Don't waste your time. That fool's research is pointless. I'm just here for the exercise. Glad to know I'm not the only one who sees through my master's inane babbling. I have a greater destiny than serving as a research assistant in this pathetic excuse for a laboratory. Look, just a minor alteration to the mutant Tukata's brain would allow me to reveal my master as a fraud. Bring me the brain before delivering it to Lord Renning, and I'll make it worth your while. Okay, this has gone off long enough. First I have blasters pointed at me, and now this. Why so much hostility? This is not a camp of fools. Your intent here is plain for all to see. This is my operation. I will see it done my way. If you feel you can contribute, I'm sure the Major can use your help for something or other. Whatever you end up doing, do it quietly. I need to focus on my creations. Her creations are just as likely to get us killed as any Jedi. Idiot. I, uh, take it she's not your favorite? Why don't you tell me more about what's happening here, Major? Our odds of success are going up by the second, that's what. Now that you're here, we might get some real work done. Indeed. Let's buckle down, huh? Objective is to trash the Republic colony, take out all the Jedi we can find. We've got troops ready, willing, and able. Does her Sithly eminence send us to do that? Or does she hold us all back while she works on her little science project? Science project. Geonosians. Mutated, turbocharged, psycho Geonosians. They're killers. She got that much right. They just don't care who they're killing, imp or rep. Buggy freaks clipped one of my boys, Brax, while he was out on patrol. No comms and he hasn't made it back. Dead or alive, his gear's got info that could give away our position. Can't risk that. I was just about to go looking for him. Care to join? No, actually, because you know what? I'm starting to like her. Ah, uh. <laughs> please don't, please don't. I, I don't want someone I like as a companion because I'm here to betray her. Damn it! Damn it! This is getting harder than I thought. Can I go back and start this quest over again? <laughs> go in against someone you like? That's... that's the drama, right? Anyway... It sounds like a better idea than trying to talk to Malora again. Sounds better than staying here. Why not? Great! I'm ready to go whenever you are, Commander. Deactivating now. Yeah, deactivate away. I've got a mission for aye, you. Aye. Head for the Imperial Fighters. The Imperial Fighters, you say? Okay, I'm supposed to sabotage fighter transponders. How? With her breathing down my neck? That's gonna be interesting. Wait, actually, I wanna have a look around and see what I can see from here. Because I'm probably not coming back to this place, or am I? Wow! For a second there, I felt like I was in me there, and of course I was, but you know. So, our base is inside a wreckage. Cool. Come on. Now where to? You... 
Is that the engine? This is a massive, massive ship, isn't it? I mean, I don't think I've ever seen anything. I is it a Star Destroyer or what? And, wait, what? That looks like lava? Alright, let's go find out if this world is full of lava or not. Look at those. Those are so fast. And no railing? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. You ready? Whee! I couldn't even... Wait, you don't want to... Was I taking the wrong elevator? Major! Yoohoo! Come! Seriously? I'm probably... No? I'm supposed to... Well, look at that! The, the light coming in. I love it. <laughs> and I haven't even seen the planet yet. There you are. What was that all about? Uh, are you normal? You can't be since I like you already. Uh, this place is... Amazing. I mean, the interior is... I don't know. Uh, this is a frick... We're still in the engine. No, I mean... The propulsion system... Never mind. I don't know what I'm talking about. Wait. I don't know where I'm going either, either so... So there's that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I knew that. It's this way. Of course it is. Scan designated site for signs of Brax. Hello. Look at that. Are you leaving? Coming or going? No? Oh! It's, um... Fueling up. So... I... Uh, can you... Can, um... Listen. Can you do me a favor for a short little while? Or just... Go grab me... Uh, soda, please. Moving out. Yeah. What? What? I want to see what happens. No? No payoff? Are you kidding? I'm doing this for what reason then? If I can't. This one more. No, well, actually. <laughs> wow, I'm so bad at whistling. Pretty shameful. <laughs> Is there. Ah, I see two other ships. If I just look up. Not look for one of these. Just look for the ships. They're pretty obvious. There we go. Nice going. If those fighters get anywhere near Republic airspace, they'll be toast. Hmm. 
interesting. I'll remember to be shocked. So, now you can. Ready? Did you get my soda? What? Uh, what do you mean they were out of stock? So this is Strike Base XR4084 and it seems to be concentrated. The action seems to be concentrated over there. Let's have a flyby route is confirmed. and see how it looks. Oh wow, look at the mountains. Whoa. What? Why? Why? Why did you do that to me? Did I hit the button I shouldn't have or is this gonna be my cab all over? I wanted to have a look. But I am looking and this looks like nothing I've ever seen before. Hot orange? Is that, is that a thing? And the blackish mountains with snow on top and blue skies. Ah, twin suns, of course. Where on the galactic map are we? I actually didn't check. I'll have to try and remember to do that when I'm back at my ship. Look at those trees. They're, they're dead. I don't see a leaf anywhere. There's some bushes over there. This place is dry. Yeah, I'll jump down here. Are we getting bad weather? So it looks like bad weather, but not quite. Are we talking thunder or war? I wonder. The war hasn't started yet, right? I mean, the Jedi are doing their thing and we are doing our thing, right? Oh, I saw lightning. Look at this. What, what, what are you? Toxic growth, of course it is. Look at this. Oh, the Jedi have been here before. This one wasn't built yesterday. Or the... Sith? Look at that! It's humongous! Why? I mean, now I think it's Sith. <laughs> Remember Corriban? No, uh, yeah, Corriban, but I was thinking Roman Cross with the freaking huge statues. Someone likes their statues huge. Um, what are we doing? Ah, of course, we're scanning. I knew that. Tell me about the new Dark Council. Still works more or less the same way, just less seats. The twelve organizations got merged into five. Still got one Sith on top of each of them. They run the Empire day to day and report to Empress Asina. Been pretty stable since it was reformed. They're not all as quirky as Melora either. Some good heads in there, like Krobos. Your old seat got merged into the Sith Doctrine Pyramid. What? Darth Anathel runs that one. Never met him. I'll make sure to meet him soon enough. Bet you will. All right, nothing here. Let's keep so moving. So there's been quite a lot of changes. Hmm. 
Look at this. I know I'm supposed to run the other way, but... But this is gorgeous. In a um, harsh, dry kind of way. I like my throat, actually. Yeah, the, the, the weather is... It's like it's just teasing. I mean, it's never coming closer. It never lets up. Alright. I probably can live with that. I like this place. It looks like a mix between Corriban and... Uh, I was about to say, whoa, 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 what happened? Did it just clear up? It fracking did! You're joking, right? There must have been something glitching. I I'm gonna have to go back and look at the recording because... Hello, never mind me. I can't believe what I just saw. That must have been some weird glitch because now I feel like it's back to rain falling over there now. What do you think of Empress Athena? Smart, patient, worth following. She's kept you and the Alliance on board so you must not feel too different. Still, a bit hard to believe the old Emperor was planning to eat us all. Guess we all owe you for that one, huh? So, you know, thanks. You're for welcome. Saving the galaxy and everyone I ever loved. That's sweet. Anyway, nothing on the scanner. We can keep moving. <laughs> she, she said it like she's not. She's not used to saying stuff like that out loud. And I like her. Damn it! Oh wow! Did you see that? What was that? Was that a rock falling or did something crash? Are non-human military officers common now? Getting there? I'm one of the first to get a rank like this, but the numbers are getting better every day. I had a bit of a head start. When I was a slave, I was running ops for my old master. Made his actual troops furious. He was a colonel in the infantry, special forces. Every mission he gave me, I ran circles around all his fancy officers. Got me a commission the minute they changed the rules. What happened to your master? Crusty old Slimo's dead. <laughs> Good riddance. Not picking up anything here. Let's move on. She's the first non-human, non-Sith I've seen. To be honest, so it's not a freaking huge change. And a non chiss um, actually, there's something weird about that. They're saying there's no aliens in the Empire, and then you have the Chiss. They are alien. The Rakata are aliens. The Sabrak are alien. But they're all sort of dark side aliens. But we're always talking about it like it's not, it's only humans and purebloods. But it's not. It's never been like that. Although, it's the first Twi'lek I see as an officer. Or even in the military? Someone's fighting. Do we want to interfere? Geo notions. Maloras? Ah, never mind. I want to hear about the Empire. I should contact the Alliance. Our forces could finish this in a matter of hours. I'll bet they would. Uh, but we can't risk long-range comms. Jedi might pick it up. They hear a message like that, they'll clear out before we can do any real damage. Sure would be nice okay. to real assault force. That's though. why we're not communicating with... the rest of the, the military. The first time in 
I don't know how many years. I see a datagron I haven't touched yet. Amazing. <laughs> it feels... Wait, it's datagrons, plural, right? It's not, or is it only one like on... Was it only one on my cab? I can't remember. There's water. A river? We'll check out that next time. How in the world do I get up there? Take a speeder and jump? <laughs> I love this place so much. It's... I feel like a kid in a candy store. I'm officially in love with Osis. The Grand Canyon with the Corribon template? Is that a thing? It is now. Thanks for watching. Take care.